So the Netflix's Witcher showrunner promises a more faithful season 3. But at the same time, there are supposed to be major changes to the source material. So which one is it? Wes Halmin friend and welcome to it in another video. Well, this gave me a chuckle. Welcome, my dear friends, to European lore. And if you've been following my channel for quite some time, you know that I'm not an overly huge fan of the Netflix's adaptation of the novels The Witcher by Andrzej Sapkowski, especially because I'm such a huge fan of the source material. I'm a man who has reread the novels in Polish multiple times. And, uh, well, in general, as uh, much as uh, many of you, I don't like the source material to be changed, to be tempered with, and uh, treated with disrespect. And that is all that Netflix has been doing, to such an extent that uh, Henry Cavill left the production, whether he was uh, fired or whether he left it by himself. The fact remains that he is not going to be portraying Geralt of Rivia anymore, and in his stead... Uh, they cast, uh, was it, Liam Hemsworth. And um, then, of course, you've got all those uh, executives and uh, screenwriters and producers and showrunners, as they call them, and the biggest hack, as far as The Witcher goes, uh, among them being uh, Lauren schmidt Hisrick and lying into your faces. So shall we look at two different separate articles by two different separate websites that were published uh, only uh, a couple of hours uh, after one one after another. So and I found them in one day and I just uh, had to share this because that shows you how little you can trust the modern entertainment industry. Because the first article here, as you can see on the screen, says The Witcher Boss promises a more faithful third season. Now we shall just read the part of the article which is relevant for this video and then we shall move to the other article. I will leave both links to both articles in the description down below should you uh, want to check them out for yourselves. So the ghost, one, it, it goes once again. The Witcher Boss promises a more faithful third season. The Witcher showrunner Lauren schmidt Hisrig assures the Netflix show's fan base that season three will follow Andrzej Sapkowski's novels more closely. The Witcher season three will be more faithful to Andrzej Sapkowski's original canon, according to showrunner Lauren S. Hisrig. Hisrig promised that the Netflix show's third season will you closely follow the events of the second full-length Witcher novel, Time of Contempt, in an interview with Collider. Season 3, especially on the heels of Season 2, is a much more direct adaptation, she said. Again, just from a basic writing perspective, the book is so easily adaptable, and it really is. It can be broken down into big events. Hisrick added that Time of Contempt also happens to be her favorite of Sapkowski's books, citing the terms exciting, action-heavy, narrative as a part of its appeal. Now, I don't buy that at all. All those books are easily adaptable, and from what I know... I've only seen a little bit of the entire show. I couldn't stomach more than about two or three episodes. And from what I've seen, it was extremely chaotic as far as the time goes. They were sk skipping from one part of the saga to another. Not only just from one part of the book to the other part of the book, but they were literally not sure what they should show next. And then as far as the characterization of the different characters... Uh, it's just really the the only thing that the show has in common with the books are some of the names. Now, for example, out of all things I could have chosen, just what they did to Ker Morhen in the show, if I remember correctly, because I have been trying to uh, just get it out of my mind. The the witches, and there were a lot of them in Ker Morhen, they kind of got uh, harlots. In Kermorhen, and there they had orgies, which of course never happened in the books. Kermorhen is uh, a castle, stranded castle in mount in the mountains, so it serves like some sort of or as some sort of uh, both school ac academy and sanctuary for the witcher, so they have somewhere to stay. Uh, over the winter, when they can't be wandering the world fighting monsters. 
So uh, this is just one of the desecrations that uh, were uh, done upon the source material. Now, then uh, she talks about one thing or another, but um, th- what is truly entertaining now is the second article, not from cbr.com, uh, but by Startfact, and it, it says, uh, The Witches Season 3 will finally introduce its strongest female character. Now, that's not factual at all, because they are talking about Milva. <coughs> for those of you who have read the books, uh, you know who Milva is, but for those of you who haven't read the books, Milva is uh, one of the uh, supporting characters who uh, meets Geralt. Uh, she is a human who grew up ba- basically, uh, <coughs> sorry, or joined the elves and uh, lived as an elf. And uh, even her name, Milva, was given to her by elves. And uh, she helps Geralt and then she joins him in search for uh, Siri. And uh, first, you know, they really, I mean, their relationship is some sort of, is a little bit cold. But then, of course, as the story progresses, they become friends. And she might be a controversial character for some people because, um, well, I don't want to spoil much. Let us just say that she's got a very interesting character development. And what is very interesting for the character and important for the character, it might be considered to be a detail, but these detailed, uh, these details matter, is that she is an archer. And uh, she has got a very good and a very expensive bow. And uh, Andrei Sapkowski, the author, devoted entire passages, like very, very lengthy passages of uh, the book, uh, describing the history of Milva and her bow and how she came to own the bow and how she got it and that, you know, first she had one bow and then and then she bought another one and then, then another one and uh, always the next bow was better than the previous one. And uh, he really managed to make the bow and her being an archer an inseparable part of the character. And uh, what seems to be happening right now is that Netflix, they are going to change that. Now, it might make you think that it's irrelevant, but it really is kind of relevant. So that's first. And second, I don't think she's like the strongest female character. I I mean, if I compare her to just the two most important women in the book, uh, Siri and the NFR, uh, I think that they are much more powerful, m- much, much stronger. So uh, let us just read out the bit that concerns Milva and how they're going to change them. Uh, so it goes, Milva, also known as Maria Baring, will appear in season three of The Witcher. It is believed that Milva is currently hiding under the code name Mary- Merylbone and is described as a woman with a sharp mind and a quick blade. Her age bele- belies her experience as she has for- been forced to mature quickly and learn how to survive in a cruel world. Her role in season three will be a recurring one, and she will most likely have her own storyline. At the end of the season, Milva will meet Geralt and help him in a terrible situation, which will start their journey together. So from what I can understand here is she's going to be appearing in the show from the beginning, and only in the end of the season she's going to meet Geralt. So already they are going to be making up, uh, or they might be focusing on what I talked about earlier, but just listen. Uh, It says, only one thing about Milva raises questions. Originally, she skillfully uses a bow, as I said, while the show decided to change her weapon to a blade. This can be both a kind of distraction and a major change in the image created by Andrzej Sapkowski. So even if this just is a a, a minor thing in eyes of many people, I'm sure, um, it is nevertheless a change that fans of of the books will be dissatisfied with. And they will not stop there. I mean, trust me, they will not stop there. My prediction is they are going to make Milva into an extremely badass Mary Sue. And maybe even they are going to change her sexual orientation. As as well as they did with Yaskier. They have announced that Yaskier is going to be bi. Which of course is preposterous because he just isn't. Full stop, isn't. There is no doubt about Yaskier being very much straight in the books. He was shagging a different woman each and every chapter almost. So uh, that's why I refuse to watch this uh, show. And even though I'm a huge fan of the source material and I know that many of you would like to hear my thoughts of the show, I shall not be reviewing it. 
I will much rather go and reread the source material and, and, and feel much better. But uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think. And that'll be all. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm out of here.